Once upon a time, in the glistening waters of the Coral Kingdom, lived a young and adventurous baby shark named Finley. He was full of curiosity and loved exploring the underwater caves, playing with his friends, and discovering something new every day. One bright morning, as Finley swam around the coral reef, his mother, Mama Shark, gave him a gentle warning, stay close to the reef, Finley the open ocean can be dangerous for a little shark like you but Finley, eager for a new adventure, thought to himself, how dangerous can it be, it's time for a real adventure. With a flick of his tail, Finley swam beyond the colorful coral reef and into the vast, open ocean as he ventured further, he encountered schools of shimmering fish, playful dolphins, and even a majestic sea turtle, who shared tales of the ocean's many mysteries. As Finley swam deeper into the unknown, he stumbled upon a mysterious shipwreck. His eyes sparkled with excitement. I wonder what's inside, he thought as he carefully squeezed through a narrow gap to enter the old, sunken ship inside. To his amazement, he found a hidden treasure chest filled with sparkling jewels, golden coins, and beautiful pearls. Finley could hardly contain his excitement as he pried it open with his fin. This is incredible he exclaimed. But as Finley marveled at the treasure, he didn't notice a pair of sly eyes watching him. It was Dora the sea lion, known for his clever tricks and cunning ways. Dora had been lurking around the shipwreck, hoping to find something valuable for himself. Spotting Finley with the treasure, Dora swam over with a mischievous grin. Well, hello there, little shark, Dora said smoothly. That's quite a treasure you found. How about letting me take care of it for you? Finley frowned, clutching the chest tightly. I found it, so it's mine I don't need anyone to take care of it for me, he said firmly besides, I was going to share it with everyone in the Coral Kingdom. Just then, Finley's friend Dolly the octopus appeared, sensing something was wrong Ollie noticed Dora's sly smile and immediately knew what was happening what's going on, Finley? Ollie asked, Finley quickly explained, I found this treasure, and now Dora wants to take it. Dora grin faded that treasure is mine now, and I won't let anyone take it from me, he declared his tone growing menacing. Before Dora could make a move, Ollie, with his quick reflexes, wrapped his tentacles around the chest and signaled Finley to help together, they pulled the treasure chest out of the shipwreck and swam away as fast as they could. Dora, realizing he was being outsmarted, chased after them, snarling, you won't get away with this. As Dora closed in on them, a large shadow suddenly loomed overhead it was Mama Shark. She had been searching for Finley and had arrived just in time with a powerful flick of her tail. She swam in front of Dora and bared her sharp teeth. Don't you dare touch my son. She roared. Dora, realizing he was no match for Mama Shark, quickly backed off with a growl. This isn't over, little shark I'll be back, he muttered as he swam away. Relieved and grateful, Finley and Ollie swam back to Mama Shark. Thank you. Mama, you saved us, Finley exclaimed. Mama Shark nuzzled Finley lovingly. I'm just glad you're safe, Finley now. Let's take this treasure back to the Coral Kingdom and share it with everyone. Together, they swam home, carrying the treasure chest with them when they arrived. They called all the creatures of the Coral Kingdom together with Mama Shark and Ali by his side. Finley opened the chest and began distributing the jewels, coins, and pearls. The dolphins received beautiful pearls. The fish were adorned with sparkling jewels, and the sea turtles were given golden coins. The ocean was soon filled with joy and gratitude as the Coral Kingdom celebrated their newfound wealth with a grand feast. As the celebrations continued, Mama Shark smiled with pride, knowing that her son had learned an important lesson that true treasure lies in kindness and sharing with others. The moral of the story is that the greatest riches come from sharing and helping others, not from keeping treasures to oneself. The end.